Hey friends, welcome to my channel. It's Rachel here. Today's video is an empties video, which is a, a, a series that my friend Cheryl and I do every quarter. And we share the all of the packaging of all of the products we used up for the last three months. Um, so I will leave Cheryl's links down below if you want to check out her video, see how much she used up, what she used up, what she liked, what she didn't like, all the things. Um, I am really happy with how much I used up these last three months. I did a series on my YouTube, no, my Instagram, Instagram, where I, um, made a project either, uh, Project Life or Scrapbook Layout every day for 30 days in a row. And I, and then, so this is the stuff from that, what I used up, but it was still included in the 30 days. I just kind of separated it because I was curious to see how much I would use up in that specific project. Um, but all of these things are from January, February, and March of 2023. I think this is the highest amount I've ever used. Went through so many older collections with all the new collections coming this spring. I really wanted to make a point of using this stuff up. I've been doing a lot of crafting, so let's get into it. Um, where shall we start? I think I will start with the stuff that's in this bag because I want to put it back in this bag because I'm going to make a YouTube video that is going to be, unless it's already up, but I, I'm going to film a YouTube video that is going to show what I used up during the 30 days of scrap, like scrapbooking for 30 days, uh, what I used up and what I made. So I just wanted to have it separately so that I didn't get it mixed up with the rest. I think I used 11 or 12 things in those 30 days. Now, let me clarify clarify that it was just those one projects a day that I is in this pile, if that makes sense. I'm probably being very confusing now. But during those 30 days, I crafted outside of that challenge, but this is just from the challenge. Anyway, doesn't matter. That's not what this video is. This video is just empties within January to March. But we've got Paige Evans, Pink Paisley, truly grateful collection. If I remember correctly, there were like three stickers left on this. And I was like, I have to use this up. There's almost nothing left. Um, we'll go to the other Paige Evans here. Again, I think there were like two stickers left on it. So use that up. Um, I used up a bunch of Simple Stories things. So we've got foam stickers from the Good Stuff collection. And then we've got the sticker sheet from the Good Stuff collection. I, if you have been following along with me for a while or on my Patreon or whatever, you know that I have a lot of random Maggie Holmes products that are like 70, 80% used up. So this is one of the pieces that I was able to use up this, that sheet. Um, and also I used up an entire paper pad, including the scraps. So that was really exciting. Um, was trying to be really intentional about using scraps on my layout and being creative in that way. So if you want to check out that series and get a little inspiration, you can head over to my Instagram. I did a reel every single day for 30 days and you can screenshot if you want some ideas or whatever. Um, this was a Jen Hadfield floral sheet. Pretty easy for me to use up florals. Um, this was, I think these were some handmade embellishments for my friend Laurel, if I remember correctly. I had like a container on my desk of just random things that I had that I wanted to be intentional about using up. Um, this is Maggie Holmes puffy stickers. You can see the strawberries, mushrooms, and things on there. We've got Coco Vanilla Studio. I used up basically this entire collection except some of the papers. So we've got the floral embellishments and we've got the pocket cards. So used all those up. And then a Heidi Swap ephemera pack. I think there were like two or three pieces left. So use that up as well, which feels so good. Okay, let's go to some of the bigger things here. We've got a bunch of thread that I used up. I bought some new colorful thread, so I'm excited to dig into those. And then some white paint, use that on backgrounds, paint splatters, use it on a lot of, a lot of things. Okay, let's go over here to the big pile now. So we have um, some gems, doesn't say what color they are, but there are some gems that I used. Uh, we've got some enamel dots from Pink Fresh Studio Oh What Fun, these are technically Christmas collection, but I mean, I feel like I can use enamel dots for anything. We've got um, sweater weather enamel dots from Hip Kits. Pretty Sweet from Hip Kits. This was a, um, 
uh, sequin mix. <laughs> I got there eventually. We have some jemmies from Prima Marketing. This, oh yeah, these are some, they're really cute, these fabric die cuts. Those were so fun. They were fabric and really cool. Um, this was part of my uh, a click kit. They like chop it in half to like put it in different kits. So, you know, I used half of the wood buttons. And then we've got some enamel dots here. We've got more enamel dots. I think at the end, I'm gonna count this, see how many things there are. Um, I think this was some handmade embellishments because I also did Valentine's crafting over these three months. We got more um, enamel dots. We've got these two things from Paper Source. I think one was flowers and one was bees, I think. We have two doodle pops that are so cute, so easy to use. I think these were Easter themed. We have some journaling bits. Oh, we have a star here. I'll take that off to use. Um, oh yes, this was in the Made with Love class that Flora and I did. Uh, we do have an ebook now um, up if you if you missed the class, but we did an um, an online class with this collection and had a kit. We have some hearts and dots here from the Storyteller collection that I finished off um, and the die cut ephemera. We've got wood accent stickers from Pink Fresh Studio Office Hours. Um, let's do this here. I think these were handmade embellishments. Dimensional embellishments from Rosie Studio Daisy Chain. Honestly, I don't even remember what these were, but great. I use them. More gem stickers. Um, this was um, a sequin mix. This is great. I think this is the largest empties video I've done. Um, handmade embellishments, handmade embellishments. And then, oh my goodness, thank goodness I used this up. This is Maggie Holmes Market Square. There were only like three pieces left and finally got to use those up. This is a Maggie Holmes sticker sheet that had some Freddy stickers on it that I finally got around to using. Very old stuff. I think these are Jen Hadfield sticker sheets. Um, same with in the other pile that I showed you. We've got these football pieces. For the longest time, I had like one or two footballs left that I really wanted to use up. We have lots of football pictures, so I finally got to use those. Um, this is the floral ephemera from Pink Fresh Studio. Um, I was using some of this bag as um, for shakers, so if you want to reuse packaging, that's a great way to do it. We have some titles here. You can kind of see that I've been sitting in my stash. This is Maggie Holmes that was sitting in my stash. Uh, more titles and things. This looks like some kind of shapes. These look like titles. We've got again the Coco Vanilla Studio Storyteller Collection that I used up. Oh yes, these were some Valentine's titles and foam stickers. We've got Garden Party. Oh my goodness, felt so good to get rid of these so good and then we have the happy heart sticker sheets we have the simple stories life captured sticker sheet like i said i used up a lot of simple stories and then we have this chipboard sheet that i used up as well that is crepe paper valentines i don't remember what collection um too many collections now i used to know all the collections by name all what they look like but there's just way too many now and i apologize for the cat fur all over the desk it is what it is because these stickers old stickers have literally been sitting here for three months so it collects dust and cat fur um okay i've got a count i think i had 12 in that other pile and then i have these four things here 16 17 18 19 20, 21, 22, 23, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58. I used up 58 things for my stash. That's insane. Oh, I'm so excited about that. I am going to do a D stash on my um, Patreon. If you want to come join my Patreon over there, I'm doing half the 30 days of videos over there. Um, and I give away whatever I'm getting rid of. So if you want to catch some collections, then uh, go over there because 
every couple months what I do is I, I have these empties videos. I go through my stash and if I, there are some collections that I haven't even touched and that drives me crazy. If I have it for like six months and I've never touched it, I most likely will not touch it again. So I do some de-stashes on there and just give away my whatever people want if they see a collection that they like. So come join me over on my Patreon. I feel so good. That's a lot of stuff. Um, and check over, check out um, Cheryl's video down below. I'm excited to see how many things she used up. Um, and this feels so good. I would definitely encourage you to participate in this. It feels much more like satisfying when you keep track of how much you've used because you, it feels like you've accomplished something and it feels like it's okay to buy those new products, you know, with all those new collections coming out. So anyway, let me know what you think down below, how you're doing with your stash, what new collections you're getting, what what collections you, you've used up. Um, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.